All right, here's the, <coughs> the last cut on the, the uh, thickness of it. I'm only taking two thousandths off, so there's very little stress on the cutter. Otherwise, what happens is you usually get a, a thinner dimension here than here, because if you're taking a heavy cut, the tool bit wants to ride up slightly on the shaper, at least on this shaper it does. So, the last cut you can see, we're cutting more on the outside here than we are over here. Uh, should be right on the money when we're done. You can see that nice mirror finish that you get in the shaper. Next, we're going to turn it and do top and bottom, square it up, and then do the two sides, and we'll be ready for laying everything out, and we'll start machining it. just got finished uh, machining the recess for the, um, the gear. Um, I really can't get the camera set up in any place over here where you can see it. It's very, very tight. Uh, that's what we, we've done so far there. Um, this is why everybody needs two lathes, because I'm working on the little Atlas 6-inch because the 10 inch doesn't have its apron and everything is taken apart. So it's really helpful to have two lathes. Alright, now I gotta machine the other side.
So this is what we have so far. Um, this is the hole for the lead screw. Uh, this is the recess for one of the gears and this is the recess for the, the gear that uh, ca actual carriage feet gear goes in there. Um, the only thing left to really do now is I have to reduce these areas all the way down to create the little feet that bolt to the apron. So that's the next step. And I'll show you how this uh, fits on on the apron. There it is. So, here we go. We're getting there. Had a create a little recess in the back here. Gain a little clearance for this. I don't know how much of that will really be left once I make the feet. But we'll see. Step by step. It's one of those things where you, you just do a little bit at a time. And eventually you get it. I've finished the piece um, that I was working on. Uh, this is the um, carriage feed bracket for the apron on the uh, Atlas 10 inch lathe. And I was removing the uh, 24 tooth gear on here and <clears throat> I noticed a, that there was a crack in here I mean hard to see now but what I did was it actually just broke off in my hand and I glued it back together with some cyanoacrylate so I could have a pattern to uh, make one and uh, this is one of those cases where function exceeds form. Um, this is a die cast piece, so they want to save material, so they, they leave out all this material, but in making one from aluminum, there's no reason to do that. Um, besides, it, it, makes it makes it a lot stronger. So it took me uh, probably two days to machine this, um, all the critical dimensions match. This one is obviously a little bit beefier. You look at it this side and we can turn it over. And you can see that, you know, this is, this is an area that it is for the hand crank gear. And this is where the, um, that 24 tooth gear sits. Um, lead screw goes through here. Uh, the bevel for the um, rack on the on the bed. Clearance there. Oil hole. So functionally it's the same as this. Now we're going to put it into the onto the apron and hopefully oh, I got all the dimensions correct and uh, I don't think I'll ever have to replace this again. Right, we have the the um, carriage feed bracket and its gears installed on the front of the apron now and
seems to work really fine. Nice and smooth. And along with that bushing that I put into the uh, apron front, there's no more wobble. Very smooth. I'm very happy with the way it came out. Now, uh, before I finish assembling the apron, I'm going to put it on the carriage and uh, make sure all the clearances to the rack are good. So, let's see what happens. Well, I went to <clears throat> put the apron on the lathe and realized that I didn't leave enough clearance for the um, carriage jib in the front. So what I've done is I've mounted the bracket to a right angle plate, mounted it to the milling table, and I'm set up. i got to pull about a quarter inch of thickness off, uh, put a little piece of sheet metal to try to keep the shavings from going down because now the gear is installed. And uh, I think we'll be successful. So let's give it a try. Last cut. All right. Uh, it's pretty close. Maybe a thousandth or two left. All right. I'll get it cleaned up and see if we've corrected the problem. All right. Well, we have it installed now. The apron, at least the carriage feed part, and uh, seems to work quite smoothly now. put the lead screw through to see if that hole lined up okay and uh, seems pretty good. I won't know for sure until I get the half nuts installed and the rest of this but uh, at least the carriage feed is good. No more rocking, you know, no more loose fitting here. Nice response no slack. I'm pretty happy with that so far. Hopefully the rest of it will go well. That right, carriage <coughs> is all back together now. Uh, the new carriage feed bracket. Uh, new 24, in, 24 tooth gear here made out of steel. Um, this is original. Uh, this is new, the cross feed gear. This is new. This is all steel. This, 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 this. The only die cast gear left is this one. And it's in pretty good shape, but now that this is a steel gear, I'm pretty sure that this will get eaten up pretty quickly. So I have a, another one of these to use as a, as a model. And uh, when I have the time, I'll. I'll machine one of these out of steel. I have new um, half nuts. So everything on here is pretty new. It should last, I would guess, my lifetime. I'm going to put it on the lathe now and make sure that everything lines up and everything works correctly. And then I'm going to take it off again and I'm going to drill new dowel pin holes when I know that everything is in, in alignment, I'm going to drill two new dowel pin holes so that this can be taken apart and put back in exactly the same position. The old, there's no way that I could match up the old, the old holes. So I filled the old holes in the casting um, with lead 
so they're not mistaken and I'll just drill two new ones and drive them in and, and that'll be the end of this project. Well, apron's back on the lathe. Everything seems to be pretty good. Uh, carriage feet is nice and tight. No slop. No wobble. Um, half nuts work well. Cross feed. Cross feed screw is not in here right now, but it seems to mesh pretty well. So, kind of happy with it. With the uh, feed screw, you notice there's a gear. That gear it is going to feed uh, power into the reed screw uh, independent of the lathe because I'm putting a quick change gearbox on this lathe and as per uh, Mr. Pete 222 I like his idea about driving the lead screw with a DC motor uh, for slower speeds and so when I started to refurbish this lathe I got a feed screw or lead screw that was for a 42 inch and when I cut it off I left extra material and um, I threaded it and uh, put a keyway in it and mounted that gear and that's going to be the subject of a of another video. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the carriage back off I mean the, uh, the apron of the carriage back off I'm going to put two dowel pins into the uh, carriage feed bracket so that it can be relocated and then this project will be finished.